Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at making a text to speech application with native script and Angular. So let's make a new native script app by running TNS create ns tts, and that's the name of the project. I'll be using the template using the template flag of dash dash template native script dash template ng dash tutorial. This makes a blank native script application using Angular. We can then change directory into our TTS folder, and then we can add the plugin. So TNS plugin add native script dash text to speech. When that is finished, I'm going to open up in Visual Studio Code. To get started, there are a couple of things we need to do in appmodule.ts, and the first one is to import from native script dash text to speech. We'll need to import the TNS text to speech. We can then add that to the list of providers within our ng module by saying TNS text to speech. And because we'll also be using ng model, we'll need to import the native script forms module. And that's from native script dash angular slash forms. So we can add native script forms module to the list of imports. That's everything we need to do inside of our app module.ts. We can then start making our application. So imports from native script dash text to speech once again. And this time we'll need the TNS text to speech, but we'll also need the speak options interface. Now we can make our user interface. So we'll need something called a stack layout. The stack layout allows us to put our text field and button on top of one another. So for that, we'll need a text field. And the text field will have the ng model attached to it. And that will be text to say. So this means that anytime we type in the text field, it will be mapped to the text to say variable inside of our component using ng model. Now you can't use ng model in the native script application without importing the native script forms module. So ensure you've done that. We'll also need a button. And the text of our button will say speak text. And that's going to be referring to the text field, which will be above the button. And when the user taps the button, we'll call the say text function. So let's implement this logic inside of our app component. The first thing we'll need is a text to say, and that's going to be of type string. And that's what we're going to add to our model here. Next, we'll need to make a TTS options, and that'll be of type speak options. Then inside of our constructor, we can inject TNS text to speech. So private TTS of type TNS text to speech. If we therefore write our say text function, we can say this dot TTS dot speak. Now speak initiates the text to speech service. And what it does is it speaks anything inside of what we pass in. Now we pass in something called speak options. So let's take a look at that interface. The speak options includes any text that we want to speak, as well as a variety of other config methods, such as volume, speak rate, and so on. And we also get access to this finished callback function. So let's implement the speak options. We can say this.tts options is equal to, and for the text, we'll say this.text to say. We could alternatively, if we didn't want to add anything to the model, we could say a particular string here, like hello world. But as we'll be getting our text from the text field within the UI, we're going to say this dot text to say. And I'm happy with the defaults for everything else within the speak options, but we'll also implement a finished callback. So for the finished callback, we'll have any data that is associated with the callback, and we'll simply log out the data, as well as console.log I'm finished. So the next thing to do is pass our this.tts options to our speak function. We have a variety of other methods we could use on text to speech. If we said this.tts dot, we can see we have things like pause, which pauses the current text to speech. And we also have things like resume, if you wanted to resume the text to speech and destroy. Destroy should be used if we are navigating away from the page or alternatively no longer need to use the text to speech module. 
This ensures that we're not having any sort of memory leaks or allocating system resources that we don't need to use. I'm relatively happy with this, so let's run this on the device. To run this on the device, I'm going to say TNS run Android. And this will install the Android platform as well as making the APK and putting it on the device. So as I'm running this on the device and not the emulator, you can't currently see the screen. But I'm going to say subscribe for more native script videos. And then if we click speak text, we get subscribe for more native script videos, <laughs> which is close enough. We can also see we got I'm finished inside of our console here, as well as undefined as there's no data to pass through in the finished callback. So we can remove data and simply save the file. So as our new application has just said, if you'd like to see more native script videos, then of course hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments section below. I'm having a lot of fun with native script. It means I can use a lot of the concepts that we know within Ionic and Angular, but instead to make native applications. Don't forget the Learn Ionic 3 from Scratch course has now been released. You can check the description for a link and discount code to that. But until then, my name is Paul Halliday and I'll see you in the next video.